Hi everyone, this is Tammy at Snowstorm Crafts and welcome. So today I want to show you guys how to make my little mini me here. So this is a uh, little dolly here. It's super cute. She is really fun to make. I'm going to have a pattern down in the description box below so you guys can come make your own little mini me. And this is my junky grungy grammy doll and i have a series that i've made and i'll have it on the end screen so you guys can come check it out and you could make your own uh i also have a pattern for her and that'll be down in the description box so you guys can come follow along and get the pattern it's just a digital download and uh, just super fun to make easy to follow along with and let's get started making our little dolly today. So I'll go get all this stuff and we'll get started. So what we will need here is, I have these fabric turners and these are, they're just like tube fabric turners and they make it so easy, especially for the little doll arms and legs to turn them. I have them in my Amazon links down in the description box and they're just, uh, little fabric tube turners. So definitely invest in some of these. They have really changed my whole life. I mean, they just make it so nice to use. Okay, and yarn. So I have the Lion Brand yarn, which is down below. Uh, some fiber fill stuffing, some fun buttons. And I actually, ordered a bunch of just really cool little buttons to do for these uh, eyes. I got like a whole assortment. Um, I'll put them all down below. I have big ones, little ones, and just different kinds that I ordered. I swear I have like 5,000 buttons now. <laughs> so they're so much fun. I'm just having so much fun with them. So I'll make sure to put those down in the links. And if I forget to put anything down there, just remind me and I'll pop it down there for you guys. Uh, hemostat, which makes it really nice to stuff, especially these tiny little legs and well, actually, I forgot. We're not, we don't stuff the little tiny legs and stuff. I just leave the legs and arms not stuffed because I think it looks cute. But the body, for sure. Um, I also have the buckwheat uh, little holes, and I'll grab those. I forgot about that. That goes into the body, too. And um, it just makes it a little squishy and just text tactile. It's kind of fun. Um, scissors. I have fabric scissors and then just embroidery scissors just to cut... Uh, some embroidery floss. I just use two strands at a time for the face and um, sewing the arms and legs and stuff on. Then I just have regular just thread here that we'll need and just a needle and then some straight pins and some wonder clips. So and uh, let's see oh lace. I just have some of this uh, the lace that I'm gonna put down below under the dress. Uh, I got the pattern all drawn out and this is on um, just coffee dyed fabrics and it's just Kona fabric is what I'm using just a cotton fabric and these are just some fun decorative cotton fabrics too so let's get started here I just wanted to show you guys this is the they're called buckwheat holes h-u-l-l-s and this is what it looks like and that's just really, they're organic. And I like to put them at the bottom of the uh, the dolls and then they get all squishy and stuff, they're pretty fun. And I just keep them in a dog treat container. Okay. So that will be later, I'll show you guys how to do that. And a pen. So I just have any pen just to trace around the pattern. And that's it. I think I'm covered everything in the sewing machine. Or you can hand stitch all this if you would like. So what I did, is I just traced around the pattern how I wanted it. Now, if you guys wanna see some details, because I'm gonna to try to do the whole doll in this video and I don't want it to be super long, so I'll have to fast forward some of it, you know. Uh, but if you wanna see some stuff uh, exactly how it's made, I have the whole playlist on the Junky Grungy Grammy dolls, the bigger version, and it's just the same thing, but smaller version. And I'm just showing you guys how I do the smaller part of it all. Okay, so I just traced around everything and then I'm going to go to my sewing machine. I'm gonna get it on a one inch or a one stitch length. So it's a smaller length 
and I'm just gonna stitch back stitch right here so all the way around it and then back stitch right here now if you want to see how I sew around the little curves and stuff that is in the junky grungy Grammy playlist and it says you know I show you guys how to sew around tiny little curves so definitely go check that out and I'm just going to sew around all these and I'll be right back I got them all sewn around so this is the dress, the apron, the arms and legs, the body, and the little pocket. So I'm going to take them and cut them about an eighth of an inch just all the way around each one. And then I'm going to turn them right side out and I'm using the, the little turner, which is the 3 16 little turner. So I'm gonna get that done and we'll go from there. show you guys some little tricks here so this is why I like my little embroidery scissors is on the curves it's nice to like on the neck right here is just to do little slits now make sure you're not cutting your threads and just do little slits so when you do turn it right side out it won't pucker and it makes it nice and smooth. So I just like to go like that. And then you can do a little bit around here if you need to. Okay, and I wanted to show you guys here when I sewed the dress, I started down right here and did this the uh, like a back stitch and stuff so it's about a pinky's width width is how i would describe it like you could stick your pinky pretty much the tip of your pinky in there so about like that much and that just makes it so it looks cute when we attach the little arms and stuff so those are the two little tips there and i'm going to continue flipping these Okay, so I'm gonna go to the next size here, which is uh, the 3 eighths. And see if I can pop that through like that. So it all seems to work perfectly together here. Now what I wanna do is go to the sewing machine and I'm gonna do a straight stitch, back stitch, and then go uh, down here and then do a zigzag stitch at the bottom and then do a straight stitch and then up across. Okay, so this is for the apron. And then I'm going to sew the little pocket. And if you don't like the size of it, you can just work with it here. I'm gonna sew the little pocket and just do a little stitch all the way around it and leave it open at the top. Finish the apron off and for the legs, I'm just gonna do a straight stitch about halfway through for the knees and same for the elbows right there. So I'll be right back. So I got the little arms sewn 
You can see the little knees and elbows. I think that's just so much fun. Got the pocket on and did a little sewing all the way around. Okay. For the apron. Now what I'm gonna do is take our stuffing here and just start stuffing. And I'm just gonna stuff just the head and the neck of the doll and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so when you have the head stuffed and part of the neck here, this is when it's the easiest to slip the dress on because you just have this tiny little hole. So I just fold the bottom. Go up through the dress. And then just pull it through. up the bottom this just makes it easier to when you're stuffing it then the dress isn't in the way okay because when you get smaller like this it gets a little fiddly you know so you think of different ways to make it a little easier so and then I just continue stuffing so I go ahead and I stuff to about maybe an inch or so from the bottom. And then I could take my buckwheat holes here. And a little funnel would work great too, but I don't have one. So I'm just gonna just give a little bit. It doesn't need much, just enough to have a little, you know, it's not for it to stand up or anything with. It's just fun just to have a little tactile difference, you know. Okay. And then just push them down in there. And then I take a little bit of stuffing at the bottom here just to keep it in so it doesn't fall out everywhere. Just like that. Flaps here. Oh, I did forget to mention when I cut out the an eighth of an inch on the inside, I left just little tabs at the bottom here. Um, it just makes it easier so you can have a little extra fabric to fold in. And then you don't have the raw edges. So I just take it and get it folded in there. Then I look to see which side I want to be the front of the doll. I like this side. And that's when I have the little legs, you know, this part showing at the front. So I'll pop it in there. These wonder clips come in super handy and you could just kind of clip it. But I'm gonna go ahead and just use my, um, it's just just regular polyester, just kind of thread or cotton thread or whatever you have. And I'm just gonna sew it up. And then we get to the end here, take your other little leg, and then pop it in there. And then I like to see if they're gonna be about same size, length, you know, you don't want one leg really longer than the other. <laughs> Take your little clip. Yeah, I think that looks good. She 
got her little legs on. I mean, how cute is that? That's so cute. Okay, so we got the legs. Oh, we're also gonna need some Fiberfix glue. So I figured I'd figure, you know, find different things that we need uh, as we go along here. So I have my Fiberfix glue, which is down in the description, plus the Sugar Bell icing containers, which has the great tip on the end of it, and it works out amazingly. I love it. Okay. Oh, and I've had people ask me about <laughs> my situation here. I hate it when I have glue, and it's all the way at the bottom, and then I went to use it, and it takes forever to come out. So I started off with a dice. See the dice at the bottom of this just an olive jar? And I would stick it right onto the just the one, you know, the the one side up the number one and that worked for a while and then it leaked and got everywhere so I just let it dry out so it's all dry in there so now when I pop it in there it works perfect it just seals it and then comes in and out so that's what this is <laughs> kind of turned into a mess but it actually turned into perfect because it just seals it when it goes down in there and then it doesn't leak anymore and then my glue is always ready for me so that's that I thought I'd explain that to you guys real quick and now, this is when I like to use the black thread. So I just have two strands of embroidery floss. And we're gonna take our little arms. Now you can trim them up however you want or do anything if you have any black threads sticking out or however you know I don't mind it because they are little junk dolls little junky dolls so they're kind of fun they do not have to be perfect I say this on my videos they do not need to be perfect they're whimsical when you do order the pattern it's just gonna be an outline of the pattern and I tell you to refer to my videos and I that's why I show you guys detailed instructions here so anything I don't show you detail like when I get to the face and the hair and stuff like that, um, I'll have you guys refer over just to the junky, grungy uh, Grammy dolls because it's all the same thing, just in a smaller scale. So you can go check out those videos because I'm trying to get through and just do one video for the little mini doll here. So what I'm doing is just making a little X for the arm, popping over to the other side here placing the other arm down and then just making another little X. Okay. Just tie a knot right behind the top of the arm. I mean, how cute is that? So she's got little X's to hold her arms on. Okay, now I just take it with the glue. I'm gonna make a little ruffle on the bottom here. going to go ahead and sew the face and then the hair on and we'll do the little buttons and I got little trinkets to add on the apron so let's go ahead and do the apron first here and I will go grab the little trinkets and stuff that need to go on it and we'll go from there what we're gonna
we're gonna do first here is we'll attach her little apron. And I have some really cool ball pins and it's a whole set and I have this in my links below. So come check it out. It just makes your life a little easier here. So they're all organized. And let's do, do silver. So they have different sizes of these little safety pins. So I want the little one. And let's just go ahead and go do silver. Okay. And then I have all these trinkets. Whoop. Some my mother-in-law got me off of Wish, and then some I have that I ordered on Amazon, so I got like a hundred of them, and they're all kind of the same thing. Uh, so I'll make sure that's so you guys can come check that out too, because, um, I mean, look at that. Handmade with love, it's so cute. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clip this on. I just add the little trinket. Pop this on. sideways with it like that but just however you want to clip them on there so I think that turned out really cute and now what I want to do is I'm gonna go ahead and just make a face on here okay so we can just draw just a little smiley face and I'm gonna take my birdie floss and do the mouth. I'm gonna go ahead and put the eyes on with my little buttons that we saw earlier. So I'll, make, I'll pick out some cute buttons. Put those on and then add on her hair. Uh, and then she will be all done. And then the little junk journal, I'll put that in at the end and make sure to show you guys at the end. So I also want to show you guys real quick that I use just some bronzer or blush or anything like that in the Q-tip just to do the little cheeks. I just want to show you that real quick. Okay, now I'm going to continue sewing the face and the hair on. I got the face done and turned out really cute. Now for the bangs here, I'm just going to use three strands. And this color is wildfire. That's what it is. Oh, wild, wildfire. And it's really cool. I love the color of it. I'm just going to do three strands. And I'm going to sew this on.
Okay, so I got her all done, and I think this turned out so cute. Did the back of her hair, to give her little pigtails, and um, all I gotta do now is just make her a little tiny junk journal, and I'll put it in her pocket, and she is done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and keep in mind that this is not made for children because it has safety, you know, things on it, like the safety pins and the little trinkets and the buttons and stuff, so they could be choking hazards. So it's not made for children. This is made for big children like us, you know, just to put up on your little craft shelf in your craft room or in your living room or just somewhere you want to admire them. And I will be making a big version uh, of the same doll here, and I will be selling them in my Etsy shop. So I'll make sure the link is down below for you guys, and you can come check it out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informational. And if you could please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and you guys can see my next video when I post it. Like, comment, and share, and let's grow together. And keep on crafting. <laughs>